Hi guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm still here. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've uh, made a video. Hope all well. I hope we're keeping okay. Um, I am doing pretty well. I've been very, very busy with work and with Reiki clients and been doing a few um, free tarot readings for people as well. Just to get my hand and my intuition back into that again so that's been really interesting and i've had some really good feedback from the few people that i've done them for as well but i've got quite a few um people that have been in touch with regards to that so i'm working my way through the list slowly but anyway today's video i want to talk about emotional code therapy or emotional code healing which is something that i've just recently come across i was aware of it <coughs> um because a few of my friends who were also um energy healers do do uh, emotional cord healing as well so a friend of mine in Canada who is also a Reiki master which oh, I'll just point out there's my Reiki master certificate behind me now Reiki master teacher certificate with one and two so I've had a bit of a jiggle around behind um, but yeah so one of my friends in Canada who is also a Reiki master teacher um, she got in touch because she'd been through um, this process with a lady in America and um, she had quite a um, quite a few things going on afterwards that she had to get over and deal with and what have you so I was thinking oh well what's this gonna like incorporate for me I'm gonna be a bit like all over the place like she was but um, anyway it's, it's been it's been very interesting it's uh, learned quite a lot from the lady that does it um a lady called katrina and the reason why she was doing them was because she's just done a emotional cord healing course and she needed a few um sort of spot clients to practice on which is a bit like when we do reiki courses usually your coursework when you're finished is to do your reiki on a few people just to practice so she's going through the same process. So she needed so many in person, and obviously because I'm in the UK, um, she needed a few people that were she could do distantly or via proxy. So that's what we did. And the first set, I didn't really know what to expect. I was totally no expectations. I just kind of like went with it and just to see how it went. And you know, a lot of people that I've spoken to and I've been in contact with, with with regards to emotional cord healing they all seem to have had quite um quite dramatic effects and quite um some quite euphoric and some have left them quite unsettled in in, in their skin until they kind of process the emotional cord healing that's been going on um however um my sessions have been quite um, quite calm really and very very subtle but I suppose that may be I don't know maybe due to my kind of very laid-back attitude these days I think if I was younger um, going back to my early 20s which I wouldn't have even considered anything like this back then um, from the person that I was to the person I am now um, but I think if I was younger then I think I would have probably reacted a lot differently um, however being more in touch with my um, I suppose Zen side and my emotions and dealing with and like self-healing every day as well also helps um, then I think maybe that's why I've had not as a dramatic effect as what well, some people do um but then everybody's different as i always say and as what the, what uh, the lady katrina that was doing the emotional code so it's, it's to do with your subconscious and your subconscious as we know within energy healing your subconscious knows what your body needs um at that time and so it, it's to do with um the build-up of emotions that you trap in this life but it can also be hereditary so it can be passed on through from pre previous lives which I was totally unaware of and some of mine went back to um, 12 generations ago um, 10 generations ago four generations ago so some of it was hereditary and some of it was from um, my own personal life so I found that really really fascinating as well um, but the overall effects that I've fe felt from 
doing the emotional cord therapy over the last sort of couple of weeks, um, I have felt a lot lighter, um, <clears throat> I suppose emotionally, um, spiritually, mentally. I've felt like things flow easier, things are easier to deal with, um, and things have been easy to process, and my um, cognition has been um, quite good as well, like working things out. So I've really, really enjoyed it. And it's been something that um, I would definitely recommend you give it a go if you can find some money that does emotional code. You can also actually teach yourself to do it, but you have to do the course to be able to become a practitioner. Um, but yeah, there is stuff online that you can you can buy books on it, and you you can do emotional code um, healing sessions with with yourself and and learn how to do it. Um, which I find quite interesting. That's something I might look into in the future for myself. Um, but it has been quite interesting. But I mean, even with, I mean, I, I say like the, the effects that I felt have been quite subtle, but even with myself, when I'm self-healing with Reiki, the effects that I feel from that are also very subtle. Um, so I don't get a lot of, I suppose, dramatic reactions or dramatic feelings or anything um, out of the ordinary that I feel. It, it's more when I'm sending healing to others or giving healing to others that I tend to feel a little bit more or pick up on a little bit more. Um, but for myself, it's been <clears throat> it's been most enjoyable and it's, it's been really good to open my eyes to a totally different aspect of a level of healing, which is the emotional cord healing, the emotional cord therapy. Um, <clears throat> one of my friends that lives locally, um, she also does it, and some of her clients that have um, done the emotional cord therapy, they've, you know, they may have had bad backs or they've had uh, problems with their physical body, and what they've found through the emotional cord healing and releasing, releasing these emotions from the heart wall and from, from just from general releasing as well, has helped them physically to remove any. Um, blockages that may be within the body so really when, when we're talking about this we're talking about the energy of emotion the energy of emotion that can be um, that we can hold on to and we can trap if we're in, a, in various states or various frames of mind so it's um, it's really been quite fascinating um, check it out if you um, feel um, call to if you feel drawn to do something like that or if you feel that you may need something releasing or there may be something in your life that you need to let go of or maybe you may have a sense of a blockage or something that you need to release um, and you know emotional cord therapy is is something that would be I think beneficial for most people and it gives them an idea and an aspect of things that subconsciously we are totally unaware of we're totally unaware of the emotions that we we do carry through life and some of the things that um came up in mine and um was things that went back to like when i was like two year old or four year old or eight year old and and, I, and some of the some of the situations she'd ask my subconscious if we need to know more about these if we need to know more about these things and sometimes my subconscious would know what it's about and sometimes it wouldn't so then we would have to go into what what understanding we have of that emotion and why it's trapped just to just so then she's able to release it and let it go from from my heart wall or from my general emotional uh, state that may be trapped within my being um the way that she works i'm not i'm not sure i don't have full knowledge of the whole thing but the way that she worked was she you she connects to me subconsciously um by, uh, by proxy of course so it was via a zoom call and um she connects to my subconscious and then asks a, a series of questions to get yes or no response and the yes or no response will be answered by a muscle reaction by in within her and that is how she would um, uniquely work on that level um, I'm assuming that that's a similar process for other 
EF, EFT um, practitioners. I'm not, like I say, I'm not 100% sure, but I would think it would be something similar. And then she goes through, it, I kind of described it as a little bit like dowsing. So when we hold um, a dowsing pendant, uh, pendulum up and we ask questions and um, you get the answer, so it'll go round and round possibly if it's a yes and it'll go left and right if it's a no, which is, that's what it does for me. But again, with that, everybody's different and the responses you get from the pendulum is different for everybody um, because their soul connects um, individually to whatever you're um, interacting with on that level, on that energetic level. Um, so that's kind of like how I describe with her. And she, and, but she did say that she's also used pendulums before but she finds that using the this muscle response um, that she has um, is, I suppose, clearer for her, and it's something that she connects with on that level, and it's easier for her to use that. So that's kind of like how she did it, and she asked the yes or no questions. Is it okay to release this now? And it'll be a yes or a no, and do we need to know more about this? And then we'd have to go into um, what this emotion may be, where it may stem from, what it's all about. Obviously, if it's hereditary and it's been passed through so many lifetimes, then you don't really have an explanation for that. You just kind of like let it go. Because from 12 generations ago, I mean, wow, who, who knows? Who knows what's been going on back then? Um, but yeah, so it's been really, really interesting. So I just thought I'd do a video about that today just to keep you updated on what's been going on um with myself with with this in particular because i found it quite fascinating and very very interesting um there is various people that have been in touch um about some more videos to do and um, so i do have a bit of a backlog of suggestions for videos so bear with me and um, they will be coming in the future um but i just wanted to do this one just to explain a little bit of what i've been going through um lately with regards to this emotional code therapy also with regards to what's been going on and why i haven't been able to make as many videos as what i would like to um but yeah it's, it's just been it's just been all go with work 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 and reiki and more work on top really um so yeah i am still here um do feel if you feel the need to reach out and connect you know comment below or you know comment on one of my videos that you may watch um, in my backlog, you know, and just um, feel free. I'm, I'm always ready to um, comment and get back to you um, when I can. Um, but until the next video, which I hope won't be in two weeks time, I hope, I'm hoping over the next day or two, I'll be able to make another couple more videos to get them um, ready just to upload. Um, but until then, um, do take care of yourselves. It's lovely to connect and see you all watching with <laughs> with bated breath and eagerness and keenness um, but yeah it's lovely to be back and um, hopefully it won't be as long next time but until the next video much love to you all namaste take care of yourselves and um, keep the vibe high bye for now